All right, guys, this is Michael Nix with It's APK Time, and today I'm going to cover, in what's in my opinion, the two most underrated apps for Android because they offer so much and uh, just overlooked by many. So let's get started here. I'm ha excited to be doing this video from uh, the Xiaomi Mi Box 3. Um, I was lucky and scored this for free from a friend who no longer want, wanted it and uh, told me I could have it and I was more than happy to take it off his hands and uh, add it to my arsenal of devices to uh, help with issues and uh, problems if others were incurring uh, whatever issues they may be. So let's get started. I, I'm going to exit out out of my IPTV service I am going to open up the side launcher and let's jump straight down to the first one I come to let's see first one I think I'm gonna cover is Tubi TV now Tubi TV I think is underrated because they offer a huge library of movies and TV shows and most people do not like it because of the intermittent ads that are present while watching content from this app. Now, I, however, do not think that they are that much of a problem. I mean, you know, come on. If you pay for cable or uh, satellite of some sort or another, you know, whatever you watch on there has commercials or has, um, you know whatever that you have to sit either sit through anyway or go do something while they're airing and then you know jump back into your program so i mean tubi tv has a lot of variations of content in it um i mean they even have what a lot of most other streaming apps don't have for a category they have a nostalgia category i mean that was just plum awesome for me you know last night i was going through this and i saw something in there from my childhood back in the 80s and i was excited to see that they had the complete transformers generation one two and three listed in there they had season one and two which was before the 1986 movie and then after the night after the movie then they had the the third season which uh contains the uh uh third generation Transformers, mostly uh, taking place on Cybertron. And then from there, they had the uh, uh, Dark Awakening, uh, the Return of Optimus Prime, and uh, Rebirth, uh, which uh, uh, introduced the Headmasters. So anyway, I just thought that was incredibly uh, exciting for me. Um, I'm not going to play any content just due to the fact that I don't want to get any copyright strikes. So, you know, we'll just uh, scroll through here and just have a look at the different categories. Um, you've got comedy. You've got stuff to continue watching. Right there is where I was checking out the uh, original Transformers cartoon series. Uh, they got black cinema, family movies. I mean, they got stuff on here. They got a category called Not on Netflix. And one of those would be uh, Charlotte's Web. Uh, I have not went on Netflix to verify this myself. I know one time it seemed like I did see it on Netflix, but maybe Netflix no longer has it. Black Snake Moan, that was a, a good film. Um, you got Series Spotlight. There's your action. Reality TV. You got Recently Added. Uh, drama. Horror. New Releases. Cult Classics. Um... A and E, there's a whole listing of A and E programming, uh, thrillers, TV dramas, highly rated on Rotten Tomatoes. I mean, you just got so much content here. Con TV, I've never even heard of a category like that before. Uh, Lifetime, there's a whole listing of uh, programming from the Lifetime Channel, Sci Fi and Fantasy, uh, Movie Night, Award Winners and Nominees. Only free on Tubi. Uh, romance. There's the Nostalgia TV. I mean, uh, check it out. I mean, there's like Magnum PI, A-Team, ALF, uh, 
21 Jump Street, Xena, Princess Warrior. I mean, the list just goes on of old content that I grew up with. So, I mean, this that's just absolutely amazing. This offers so much. There's anime, westerns, sword and sorcery, crime TV, trending, faith, Dove Channel, kids shows, docu series, TV com comedies, Shout Factory TV, sports movies and shows. I mean, the categories just go on and on and on and on. I mean, no other streaming app has so many different categories and has their content organized so well. This is just like the perfect all-in-one streaming app. Legal, free, and don't have to worry about using a VPN with it. I mean, we can handle the occasional intermittent ads. They're not like ads that pop up, you know, like what you get on your device from these other third-party uh, illegal streaming apps. I mean, I'm a fan of them myself, but, you know, these Tubi TV just, it's just e a lot easier to handle. I mean, pre a preschool category for the kiddies, foreign language TV. I mean, there's content there of foreign languages for people who are comfortable with their native language. Docurama, Baby First TV, Complex Networks. I mean, guys, I, I this just goes on and on and on, you know. And so, on this, on that note, there, I'm going to go ahead and end it for Tubi TV. I don't think I have the other app that I want to cover installed, but we'll go ahead and install it. I'll edit out the uh, installation process in the video so that we can jump straight to it. So anyway, I, I was thinking I have Pluto TV on here, but apparently I do not. So let's go to the Google Play Store. And let's search for Pluto TV. There we go. All right. L. U. And there we have it right up there. Let's go ahead and open. Oh, I did have it installed. All right. So now. I think Pluto TV is underrated because it is free TV, legal, 100%. Uh, early in the beginning of Pluto TV, their channel content wasn't really too much to uh, my interest, but here lately they've been adding some great stations. Um, Recently, they added 12 new stations, and just uh, to give you a clue of some of them, uh, they have added uh, Comedy Central, Nickelodeon, Nick Jr., CMT Western. Uh, they've got uh, a mystery channel. There's 24-7 Unsolved Mysteries. They've got uh, another channel. There's 24-7 Forensic Files. Um, that is shows Unsolved Mysteries I grew up watching and loved it. Uh, my ex was a fan of Forensic Files, and I got into it. So, yeah, I mean, that is just great programming for me. And then there's lots of others. And as you see on the screen, they also have music stations. Um, I'm a country fan, so it, I've usually got it on there. Uh, I hardly ever mess with Spotify or any other music app because I can just throw this on and listen to, listen to something that I like. I mean, don't have to hunt it up, look it up, or any of that garbage. So, anyway... Pluto TV has so many channels now. I mean, it may not be like what you get with your cable. It may not be like what you get with satellite, but it is a great variety of content. Here you have is CNN. That is a major network station. Uh, again, there is Comedy Central. Um, I mean, there is just a lot in here. And also, there are uh, free movies and TV shows. VOD offers a lot of content. Some of it some of it older classics, some of it low budget, and then also some of it blockbuster content. You know, big screen content like Rango right there. Um, you know, you just don't know what you're going to run into. Bring, bringing out the dead. Uh, I 
Dances with Wolves. That is a that's a major film. Star Trek II: The Wrath of Khan. I mean, this is the all-in-one package in itself, and you know it's a must-have app to have on all my devices. I don't know about you, but for me, I really think it's just an awesome app. So anyway, that is what I consider to be my two most underrated apps for Android. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think. If you have any uh, ideas or suggestions to for apps I need to have on the Mi Box to keep it fast and smooth. Um, if you like Tubi TV and Pluto, comment that down below as well. Tell us what you think. Um, don't forget to uh, rate, subscribe, and that would help me out a lot. That would help the owner of APK Timeout a lot too. And until next time, we will see you in the next video.